In this exercise, we're going to show you the basic math functions of Microsoft Excel. How to simply add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Now, there are other ways in which you can do some of these features that are more efficient or effective, but we're going to show you the very basics here in the ABCs of this particular lesson. What we have on the screen here is three items you might buy in a grocery store. We have the weight, we have the item name, we have the cost, we'll calculate the cost per ounce, we'll calculate a subtotal, we'll compute the tax, a grand total, the amount someone pays us, and assuming it's uh, more than the, the item, the change due. So let's begin with addition. I'm going to use cell D6 to add. So I click on cell D6. And I want you to note up here in the formula bar, it will show what we type in down here. In order to add uh, items, you have to start with either the equal sign or the plus sign on the keyboard. So at the very top row, you can pick and use the plus key, or if you have a numeric keyboard to the right of that, you can hit the plus there. I tend to use a plus because it's, you don't have to use the shift key. It's very easy. So I'll, I'll type the plus on the keyboard. And now I want to add. Now I don't use the keyboard, I use the mouse. I'm going to add. I want the cost of the Hershey Kisses, kisses first. So I'll use cell D3. I'll click there and it automatically adds it to the formula. Back on the keyboard, I type the plus key again. And now I'm going to click on cell D4 to get the cost of the ground beef. Okay, and we're building a formula. I'm not done yet, so I go back to the keyboard, hit the plus key again, and now I click on cell D5. And when you're all done with the formula, formula you press the Enter key. And it automatically entered these three numbers. If I click back on cell D6, I see my formula in the formula bar. It's equal to plus the value in cell D3 and D4 and D5. It doesn't matter the order in which you use these if you're using this particular feature. So it's a very simple addition formula in Microsoft Excel. And again, if I change the number value, if my Hershey Kisses are on sale for $249, I put that in and of course it changes my number. Now I need to figure the tax. And so we're going to use the multiply function. We've done addition, now multiplication. The tax will be, uh, we have it calculated to 7%. And this cell over here is equal to 7%. Now I could put it in manually, uh, but we're going to use it with the cell because if the tax changes, I'll show you how can, you can modify that. So my tax is going to be plus, use the plus key on the keyboard, it'll be the subtotal times, and the times uh, feature is the asterisk key. You can use the, the key above the 8, shifted 8, or you can use the asterisk key on your numeric keyboard. So it will be D6, which is the subtotal, times, and I'm going to click on the cell here, which is my tax, and hit enter. Okay, and it's 89 cents. Here it is D6 times B7. Now if I don't have a cell with a tax on it, I can do it manually. Another way to enter this in would be to click here and I'll uh, delete it and I can do plus 0 0.07 which is 7% then use my times key, my asterisk, and then click on cell D6 and I get the same amount. But it's nicer to have the number in a box here because if your tax changes, you can adjust for it. So I'll go back to the original formula, which is plus my tax, asterisk, which is my multiplier times my subtotal here. Now watch what happens when I change the tax to 6.5 and it automatically recalculated it. So that's a nice feature. So you can multiply using the information in a cell or you can multiply using a raw number. Same way with addition and subtraction.
Okay, now we have a, um, a subtotal. We've done a little bit of addition. We've done some multiplication. We'll do addition again to get the grand total. I hit my plus key again, and it would be my tax plus my subtotal, and I hit the enter key when I'm finished, and there we go. Now they give us $20, and we calculate the change. Well, the change will equal to plus key again, the $20 they give us, minus, hit the minus key on the keyboard, either at the top row or on your numeric keypad, minus the grand total, and here we go. Again, if anything changes, if I, my ground beef goes on sale for 352 everything else changes. Really nice feature. So that leaves us with division. How do we divide? Well, we're going to calculate the cost per ounce. So what I do is I click on cell E3, hit my plus key again to start <coughs> my formula. My cost per ounce is equal to the cost, which is D3, divided by, okay, that is my forward slash. That's the one that leans to the right. Divided by my ounces. And I find that my cost per ounce is roughly a quarter. The, uh, we could change this so it would show the fractions of a cent if we want to, but we don't do that right now. Now, I'll do that again. So if I'm going to calculate that for ground beef, it's plus, okay, the cost, and then my forward slash, the one that leans to the right, and divided by 16 ounces, and that's a little cheaper. Let's see what we happen with apples, plus my cost, and then we go forward slash again, and divided by the ounces. Now, it would be easy to co make this formula and copy it down. That's another lesson. We're just getting you basic with simple addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And again, we look here and we see the formula bar reflecting all of the formulas. We hope you found this useful as you learn more about how to make Excel work for you. We encourage you to experiment with the basic functions of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division as you grow in your knowledge of Microsoft Excel. If you found this lesson useful, we'd like to suggest that you like us, and would you please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Jim for Sharper Turtle, and we thank you so much.